Okay. Alright, let's do this. What's up everyone in Power and Q's here bringing you some more League of Legends action. We are doing something, let's go dude, a little funny here. We are playing some ADC Jax with my boy Odin here. So it should be pretty fun. Um, our goal right now is to get to our level 2 spike before the enemy team. Um, probably going to try and do a flash stun kind of funky thing right there. Um, so that's going to be the master plan. Uh, but our goal in this lane is to just not get poked out by Brand. That's what's going to kill us. <laughs> well, so far level 2, the uh, minion wave push so far so good. So we just got to push this wave too. Um... The nice thing is they're both pretty squishy, so we could probably justify going after either of them. Pop a potion here. Ah, shit. They got it. Damn. That sucks. Brandon. We should have saved Relic Shield for the next, uh, the second wave. Yeah. Alright, cool. Uh, I'm gonna pop another potion. You ready? Yep. Nice! Pop another potion. I don't have anything for another second. No, I got a long time. Cool, we'll hours. take it. I got four seconds so that I can uh, jump back in with my stun. Good shit. I have my jump stun is up, yep. If you catch oh, her, we can kill her. Minions. And then we need to reset, I think. At least I do. Good shit, dude. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Good shit. That chain stun, what up? Alright. I can, I can grab... I really think Hex Drinker first makes sense for me. Because I think I'm going to keep getting rocked by Brand, so if I can survive that initial burst when we jump in, that's going to be super helpful. So I'm going to go Hex Drinker, uh, then start working on my Trinity Gun Blade, and then uh, Range Blade. Obviously, going to go for a super heavy carry build, um, provided obviously that I'm in the ADC carry role. I, did, I know I didn't talk about the runes, but I took early kill rune potential, so electrocute for the early game burst damage, cheap shot for the true damage, eyeball collection to build damage off that, ravenous hunter for a little bit of healing in lane, and then uh, triumph for when we kill one of them that I can survive the burst of the other. Oh. <laughs> Get some! <laughs> I don't know what to do. They don't. You got a relic shield call, let you get that cannon minion. I can jump stun in two seconds, too. You Just ready? Walk. Oh, God. Nope. <laughs> Dude. Oh, so funny. Nice. Gonna pop a potion here. Nice. Some of that new meta shit. <laughs> nice, go heal up. Then let this wave slow push out to us. Nice, okay. We can probably afford to hold this wave right outside here. I'm gonna pop my other potion. I just wanna make sure I stay nice and healthy so we can go in for a kill again. I got 41, 40 seconds to my exhaust. We can slow one of them. I'll probably trim this a little bit. Well, I'll be at full health for the next fight. Yep, I'll let you get that cannon. That'll have a relic shield. Yeah. Alright, I can jump stun. Too bad. <laughs> what up, yo? <laughs> He's so tilted, dude. I got no mana, by the way. I'm gonna back. Refuel. 
Dude, this brand is zero and three. He's so mad. I'm gonna help uh, Dragon. Cool. Oh, they got it. It's at 600 health. Yeah, All right, gotta grab. Gonna grab Sheen and a control ward here. Now I'm gonna have some more. I went for the Sheen first because of the extra poke damage. Um, obviously increases the damage on my W when we go in for those big kills. Oh, dude. Ah, oh, Oh, nice shit, dude. I thought you were done for. <laughs> Alright, so I'll have my flash and exhaust when you get back. Alright, so level 4 and level 5, okay. I'm just gonna hang back and let this push till you get back. Alright, 40 to 28 CS, winning in CS, winning in kills. Aw, oh, yeah. I love this lane. Yeah, I, like I said, uh, we were talking about it earlier, actually. The thing I was telling Odin about was, as long as we get early kills, we'll be fine. Cool. He did. That's cool. He died anyways. <laughs> uh, I got my level 6 now, so the type of trades we're looking for is the same as top lane. I want to prep two auto attacks and then jump and hit. And that's going to instigate my passive that does the extra bonus damage. Um, if you think they're going to run away, you could always W before you jump. But ideally, you want to auto attack, reset W for the most damage. But um, we can push this and maybe grab Scuttle Crab. It's an extra EXT there. And then uh, we can maybe look for a roam mid. Or we can run into their jungle. Cool. Let's go this way. I don't think there's a ward. No ward. I got 8 seconds on my stun. Dead anyways. Cool. <laughs> Never mind. Alright, back to bot lane. Gank push. My ult's on cooldown, by the way. I think we'll be fine. But I do have yank and stun. As soon as it gets to about right here, we could go for I could go for a flash E play. Mm, that's right. well. Push this wave in. Reset it. The thing about these type of lanes, though, is we do got to be careful because we're not exactly great at CG for obvious reasons. Um, we just can't do anything to them while they're at tower because we have no range, so it has to be a tower die for us to do anything, which isn't exactly a good idea. So, I think, uh, we I think we're using our, uh, our roaming potential to our advantage. Yeah, I agree. Alright, let's stick back for a second. If Brand tries to W, he's going to push the lane, so... Maybe I can entice him a little bit. Alright, Ash is level 6, so we gotta be careful for Arrow. So is Bran. Cool. Alright, I could potentially flash E. Okay, Let's let get me. the cannon minion. Cool. The ward in there just in case. They run in there while we're fighting. Nice. Oh, missed that one. We might have Wukong coming. Oh, Talia. Okay. We'll just hang back here. No point in getting over aggressive. We that's one of the things that I see too many people do is they throw their early lead. Alright, we see Talia back in mid. Because we're we're shut down gold and they're not, so. Even if it's an EVN trade, kill for kill, um, it's not to our advantage because they'll get more shutdown gold. You ready? Yep. Ash. Oh, never mind. Nice. Shit. Nice. I'm going back. Damn. 
Well, I lived. There's your cut, mate. <laughs> Get it. Unfortunate timing on the Wukong, but... Gotta push this wave in. They'll miss out on all those. I mean, we've rendered their bot lane completely useless at this point. I got Brand ulted in the face, and I did not take any damage. So, I might be able to get this tower, and then I'll get first tower gold as well, which will be huge. No, gotta back it up. Alright, I got 2,200 gold, so... Um, probably gonna go phage for movement speed and then finish and start building my boots. I think. Let's see what damage they have. Damn, it's a rough game to do either because the slow from Talia, arrow, brand, snare. It's not gonna help against Wukong or Yasuo knockup. You can really justify either or, I think. But I think I'm gonna end up going Merc Treads. Alright, you got uh, bot lane coming at you. Oh, got my level two boots. It's gonna decrease the slow on Ash too, so I'm gonna finish my merc treads. Ooh, nice grab! You did! <laughs> All right. <laughs> this bot lane is so mad. You see what I mean though for those plays, like if I do the flash play first, I think that I do think that works out better for us. What do you think? I agree. Yeah, so as long as we get the early kills, I think this is a pretty powerful combo. We've tried it against what now? We did it against an Ezreal Braum, which was a little rough. Well mind but. you, some of those times we screwed up our early game. Yeah. That's, uh, so for you guys watching, that's one thing me and Odin have been having to learn about bot lane, because I'm not normally a bot laner, is, uh, too long of a leash at the, uh, the red buff. Because we've missed the level 2 spike, and we still missed the level 2 spike here this time, but... But I wasn't a minion behind if we were aware of it, and once we hit level 2, we Ash were, ultimate. like, at low health, yeah. we used it oh. to our advantage. I see Talia's coming. Ash already arrowed, so not too worried about it. Yeah. Cool. 900 gold, so I think I'm about 500 gold. Yep, 500 gold away from finishing my uh, Trinity, and then I can start working towards Gunblade and Rage Blade. So the Gunblade's gonna be nice because I can slow down Ash. Um, the other thing is, is, if you don't know, the way Jax's ultimate works is the more damage of a Kai that you build, so if you build uh, more AP, he gets more magic resistance, more AD, he gets more armor. So the extra AP is going to help against Brand Talia, because I really don't... Besides Hex Drinker, I don't plan on building any MMR, any MR, so... So I want to push maybe a next wave or two, and try to get my Trinity Force. Procs here. I don't know where bot lane went. So bot lane. Oh, take out this controller. It is mid, so we can push this. Nice. Ash is mid. If Brand comes, we could probably just jump on him and kill him. Well, we're warded up, so. Alright, Ash disappeared, so she's probably coming. We used her arrow in our last fight, though. Tease him away. Ash is around. Walk back. Yeah, I think we just take this tower. No need to, uh. My ultimate. Yay, Hex Shrinker, thank you! <laughs> nice shit, man. I'm back. They're coming. Talia also will be stuck and not be able to get out. And I have like 10% health. Cool. Definitely can get my uh, Trinity Force now too. Wait! The brand is 1 in 7. Huh. There's that. Start building towards my gun blade. 
wait the 15 gold for another long sword. Never mind. <laughs> All right. So no dragon, no burn for another three minutes. We could probably just group mid with our team. I think this Lux is, yeah, this Lux is stupid strong too. There is a problem, guys. I can't believe he, he lived as long as he did, if I'm being honest. I'm coming. Ooh, nice shit. I got the uh, brand flash. My stun is in six seconds. Nice. Aw, oh, damn, I wanted to exhaust him, but he flashed out of it. Slower down. You ready? Aw. Oh. <laughs> Take out this tower. Alright, Talia might be trying to cut us off. We can pull her, I think we could probably kill her. No, pull. Go back up. Alright, still another minute to any real objective, so we got that tower. So the last thing we need to grab is inner turrets, which isn't bad at all for an 18 minute game. Steal some camps away in the jungle. Alright, I'm gonna back up. If we get hit by all that CC, it's gonna be painful. Never mind. I lied. <laughs> she just walked like right here and I was standing right here. I'm like, well, I can just walk up and eat her. And then she blew her, uh, her one move, so. Just gotta pay attention to the cooldown. All right. So one thing that uh, remains true in bottom lane as it does in top is pushing past the river. So last time I was in bot lane, if you noticed, I pushed it right past the river here. That usually gives you about 40 seconds to roam and make plays. So a wave is going to start forming over here. So you see the cannon minion is going to be stronger than these. So it's a bigger wave on their side of the map. So it's going to push and create a bigger wave. But So I can run back, collect, get some minions. Happy day. Nice. Alright, so the one thing I gotta be careful about too is since I am like an ADC carry, I don't take teleport, so I don't wanna be away from my team too long. Uh, luckily they have enough damage, but I don't think you wanna fight this guy, so a little poke in there. Alright, I wasted my E so I gotta back up. Cause he will kill me when I don't have my E. Just get one of those little hop auto attack resets in. Oh. Woohoo! Gotta be careful here. Let's back up. Nice. If she keeps running, I might be able to jump in with my stun, but probably just going to take the victory of that kill without dying and walk away. Nice. So I slowed him with my Cutlass and then guaranteed the stun there. And it was easy to kind of just burst him down. Going to take this dragon here. Take that for free. Darius is pushing top, so we know these two aren't going to show up in time. I see their jungler. I see Talia up here. Easy peasy. I think the other nice thing about doing it this way is I could be by myself. Obviously, it's nice to have my support with me, but if my buddy Odin or any support you're playing with wants to roam and make plays, I mean, I'm Jax, so I'll survive by myself. I could sell this. Nope. I don't know yet, so hold on. All right. So our next objective is gonna be Baron, so we can look to take that soon. 
Ooh, the 6 0 dream. Dude, you're 7 2 and 10. Fucking right, man. <laughs> they get wrecked. Wrecked. Are you trying the uh, Dead Man play build? You got it. Nice. Alright. Be careful, they're all up. They might have just given up, though. Yeah, I should use my team to get that real quick. Nice. Cool. Yep, Baron. Bring it on. Got red buff. Walk towards me so I can jump to you. Thank you. Um, if you're ever playing with the Jax and you don't know, he can jump to you. So, if you're trying to run away from the enemy, if you just take a little bit of a step back to help him out so he can catch to you, catch up to you and jump away, that'd be great. Because I've seen people not do that. Like, I'm running, we're both running away. I'm like, slow it up. Let me jump to you. I'm so close. All right. Well, we got an open and hit mid, so we might as well just run mid and grab that. And then probably catch top wave, maybe. I mean, we could really pick either or. Because Dragon's not up for four minutes, so ideally you'd want to take a tower opposite of the next objective, but I don't really think there's going to be another objective on the map, so I don't think it really matters. The obvious choice is still definitely just... I have my Flash. Uh, okay, if you want to do something stupid, so do I. Like, you see Talia, so we can. Yeah, we'll take this in here, bro. Nice. Oh god. Oh god. Ooh. Yeah. She flashed away. GG. Dude, they got wrecked. Let's go! <laughs> Ouch. No, oh, my perfect game! I threw it away! <laughs> Damn it! I got greedy! <laughs> I'm just gonna have to Photoshop edit out that uh, one death there. <laughs> Dude, what a fucking game. God damn! Holy moly. Dude, that early game is intense. Uh, I think that's definitely the better play. If we could consistently um, get level 2 first, I definitely think we can always get the first blood. Um, so, 8 0 and 6? <laughs> Let's check out some damage. Lux did a shit ton of damage. Oh my god. Well, hats off to you, uh, my boy Odin. Man, some of those plays were freaking crazy. I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, I, every time I thought I wasn't going to get a hook, I fucking hooked him. I even backed up and then I was like, oh shit, I hooked him. I need to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> Especially once we both get level 6. I mean, get so tanky and. Between both of our damages, especially, like, I think it works really well against a squishy, like, kill lane like Ash and Brand because getting one of them to a third health where you could execute them is not hard at all. I think, I think one, one jump stun into my W plus your stun is pretty much a guaranteed one third health anyway, so. Yeah. But, well, I hope you guys liked that one. Uh, let me know what you think if you want me to do some more duo games with my boy Odin. We're going to try out some other funky uh, new meta bot lane shit and don't forget to like share subscribe all that good jazz also started twitch streaming so check out the description info for that i really really appreciate it and i'll catch you guys next time peace